Hello everyone, it's Alina, welcome to my Soap General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital viewers will remember Bobby today as Carly and Felicia embark on a world tour to complete her last assignment. Looking at Bobby's picture on the memorial wall in the hospital, Anna and Robert talk about how unfair her loss is. In Amsterdam, Carly sits at a table while Felicia scouts the cafe. An employee refuses to assist Carly after she presents him with a photo of Bobby and asks if he remembers her. He departs and Felica takes a seat, reminding her that they must not directly interrogate individuals because they conceal their identities. They have no idea what the interaction looks like, Carly says. As Felicia puts it, being a private investigator is all about knowing what to search for, rather than who to look for. Sitting at separate tables, they converse with each other via airpieces. A woman walks in and starts chatting with the guy Carly had previously interrogated. It seems to Felicia that this might be Bobby's contact. They approach the woman, who initially insists she doesn't know Bobby until they tell her she died. She sits down with them and tells Bobby was a regular here, and one day she noticed her reading an article about human trafficking. The woman adds Bobby opened up to her about her history as someone who was involved in human trafficking. She discloses Bobby opened her home as a sanctuary to hide people until paperwork came through to get them out of the country. Carly wants to know what happened to the girl Bobby was attempting to aid. The woman says her name is Cornelia, that Bobby arranged for her to remain somewhere in Canada. She assumed Cornelia back to America, but Carly informs Bobby passed away here in Amsterdam. They realize the woman may still be hidden there, and that means the paperwork never came through. Felicia phones Anna, who is with Robert, and she needs their aid with the State Department with a human trafficking case. Robert claims he has some contacts and will make a few calls. Back in Amsterdam, the woman informs Carly that nobody knows where this girl is but Bobby and that poor kid is probably freezing to death in some cabin in the woods. Carly understands she's hiding at Luke's old cabin, which Tracy mentioned yesterday in passing, back at G8, Anna hopes Felicia and Carly aren't in too much trouble, as human trafficking is a terrible business to interfere in. Carly and Felicia make their way to Canada and are driving to Luke's cabin. Carly believes it's unusual that they never spent much time together because Felicia was her mom's best friend. Suddenly they are forced to swerve to miss a moose. Unfortunately, the car ends up with a flat, and they need to change a tire. As they change the tire, Felicia reveals that there's a reason they were never close, and it was because when she arrived to Port Charles she not only destroyed Bobby's life, but her marriage, and she's probably hung onto that hatred. She feels uncomfortable as this was decades ago, but she always had this protective streak when it came to Bobby. Felicia says she's sorry, but Carly tells her not to be and she understands it. Carly acknowledges she's not blameless, she was angry with her for being gone from Maxie's life for so long. Felicia and Carly both believe they can forgive one other and lean on each other moving forward. Carly and Bobby arrive at the cabin, knock on the door, and scream out to Cornelia and claim they are friends here to aid her. She answers the door, and Carly says they are friends and here to take her someplace. Suddenly the young woman steps out of the cabin holding a shovel. Carly tells her to stop, that they were sent by a friend to help her and she is safe. Cornelia sees Bobby's necklace around Carly's neck and questions why she's wearing it. Carly says Bobby is her mom and gives her a snapshot of her phone to prove it. Cornelia tears she doesn't understand, why didn't Bobby arrive? Carly is sorry to tell her because Bobby died. They know her tale, and she is secure with them. Cornelia puts down the shovel and hugs Carly. Felicia calls Anna and Robert again to obtain that favor Robert called in. Angela comes at Kelly's and meets Maxie. Maxie says people will be coming today to speak to her, and this is one thing she can help with given her mom and Carly are in Amsterdam hunting for Bobby's contact. Laura speaks with Angela and reveals she and Bobby had a hard start as they were arguing over a boy. Laura flashes back to finding Bobby getting ready to seduce Scott. She adds Bobby was someone who expressed what was on her mind, she could be a sympathetic ear, but also give one a reality check. She recalls Bobby talking to her about Nicholas, and how it upset Luke to find out about him the way he did. Lucas speaks to Angela about how his sister BJ nicknamed him Champ, 
a moniker his dad gave him, and it upset the crap out of his mom. He says his mom's someone who never backed away from a struggle to protect her loved ones. Scott and Lucy are the next to chat about Bobby and how positive she was, but that she also wouldn't take any crap from anyone, especially from him. He flashes back to clashing with Bobby over an attempted takeover at GH. Lucy recalls her discussions with Bobby regarding Scott. Angela says it sounds like Lucy and Bobby were the original frenemies. Lucy feels it is a wonderful way to phrase it, and she says Bobby's daughter BJ was extremely significant to her. Michael, Joss, and Willow remember Bobby to Angela, and Willow recalls the support Bobby offered her at her wedding to Michael, and made her feel like family. Elizabeth speaks to Angela about Bobby helping her through her sexual assault as a teen. Liz says her sons don't know about her attack, and she'd like to leave that out of the article. She flashes back to Bobby helping her after the incident happened. Liz says she was confused, but Bobby never made her feel guilty, and she found her genuine love in healing others thanks to Bobby. Later Angela thanks Maxie for arranging for all these individuals to speak to her and will give her the peace once it's ready. Maxie hopes she is staying in town, as she'd like to get to know her. Angela says her employer says she can't stay long, but she'll see her around. Angela walks off, just as Maxie sees her mom shouting. She calls after Angela, but she's gone. Maxie meets her parents and Carly at GH. Liz administers to Carly's head wound after the car accident, and Carly takes Liz up on her offer to paint a new sign for Kelly's, except she has something more in mind. It's the next day and Felicia stayed the night at Maxie's. Maxie is attempting to find Angela's business card to email her that she and Carly found the woman Bobby was assisting, but she can't find it anywhere. She also can't discover any internet presence for her, which is odd for a journalist. Felicia promises to make some phone calls and takes off. At Kelly's, Lucas, Carly and Laura meet to see Liz's new sign, pronouncing it beautiful. Carly believes this area has been a safe refuge for individuals, and with their mom gone, people still need to know it is. Lucas has to leave and catch a flight and heads out. He bumps into Angela outside and says people are seeking for her, since her tip led Felicia and Carly to save that woman Bobby was aiding. She says she'd love to celebrate, but she has to go back home. Lucas thanks her and turns his back to go away. She says, anytime, champ. Lucas looks around and she's gone. Outside of Maxie's, Felicia contacts the AP in Amsterdam about Angela, but the woman on the phone nobody by that name has ever worked here. Felicia then understands Brighton was Barbara Jean. Meanwhile, Maxie also comes to the same conclusion. Felicia returns and they embrace knowing it was BJ all along. Liz and Laura leave Carly, who wants to spend some time alone in the cafe. Carly hopes she brought her mom some peace, as that's what Bobby gave her and everyone else. More flashbacks are presented, including BJ's death and the homage to Bobby at last year's nurse's ball. Carly goes out and hangs the new sign Liz made, designating Kelly's Bobby's, Bobby's place GH, on the next general hospital. In jail, Esm asks Spencer to do something for her. Robert says to Diane, This sounds like a threat. Curtis asks, What did I miss? Trina tells someone, You don't have to justify it to me. Ava warns Nina that when Sonny feels deceived he is dangerous. At his office, Sonny warns someone if they accomplish this for him there is no looking back. Stella glances at Portia and exclaims, It's time to spread the good news. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.